Well, new developments tonight in the ongoing battle for Ohio Democrats and Republicans to agree on a new legislative district map. After a group of Republicans filed a complaint in Columbus Federal Court, the League of Women Voters filed a counterclaim with the Ohio Supreme Court to try and get this issue resolved. 10 TV's Kevin Landers live outside the Ohio Supreme Court to explain the complicated situation and how it impacts you. Kevin. Well, good evening. The question is, which court will decide these legislative maps and how will it affect your vote? Will it be the Ohio Supreme Court or the federal court that will decide how these lines are drawn? For now, Ohio's May primary remains up in the air because voters can't vote on an election that doesn't exist. The reason is the Ohio Redistricting Commission, which Governor Mike DeWine is a part of, has failed to redraw legislative districts that the Ohio Supreme Court says violates the Ohio Constitution. We have an obligation to follow the Constitution. We have an obligation to follow the court order. And, and we have an obligation to produce a map. In a federal motion filed Thursday, a group of Republicans argued the court should adopt the latest map known as the second plan. Quote, the second plan changed five Ohio districts from the redistricting commission's first plan from Republican leaning to Democrat leaning and changed three Senate districts from Republican leaning to Democrat leaning, representing a greater than 6% total increase in the number of Democratic leaning districts. Dan Coble teaches constitutional law at Capital University. This case is all about gerrymandering on a political basis, which means the politicians are able to draw their districts in such a way as to give them an uh, extremely good chance of being reelected. The League of Women Voters filed a motion Friday demanding that the commission explain why it failed to meet the Ohio Supreme Court's deadlines and why the commission only chose two maps. Steve Steinglass is a retired law professor at Cleveland State University. He says while the federal court can decide state issues, he doesn't believe they can in this case. The state courts are the final arbiters as to the meaning of state law and a federal court cannot order the adoption of a plan that has been rejected by the state court on state constitutional grounds. Now, I spoke to the attorney who filed the federal lawsuit. He believes he can convince the judge panel that this case should be decided in that court. The big question right now, will the Ohio Supreme Court hold the people who are on that commission accountable? Reporting live downtown, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.